What's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another merch design video. Today, I want to continue with some more tips you can use to improve your results using the threshold effect in Photoshop. If you haven't seen my previous video on this, then I suggest you watch that first so you can get up to speed. Let's go. Okay guys, so hopefully most of you will have watched my previous threshold tutorial and the point of that video was really to help people get better results when using threshold since the effect by itself can really be hit or miss depending on the image you're using. We also in that video go over how to layer different layers of threshold together. In this video, I want to build on that and provide two additional ways that you can get more detail out of an image that you're thresholding. So here I've got a lovely picture of the guitarist from Adam and the Metal Hawks who are a band I've been working with recently and we're going to go straight into the first technique. So firstly we want to apply a threshold to this image. You may remember from my previous video that we applied the effect by going up to image and adjustments. This time we actually need a threshold adjustment layer which is located by clicking the circle icon under your layers and finding threshold. If you have multiple layers going on, then you may want to clip the threshold adjustment layer to your image. However, for this tutorial it is not necessary. So with the threshold, we want to balance the image as best we can. This image is obviously very high quality and is responding pretty well. The reason we have used a threshold adjustment layer is because it's the only way to see the next effect working in real time with the threshold. Next, we want to make sure our image is selected and head up to filter and go down to sharpen and then smart sharpen. And when this eventually loads, you'll see immediately the effect it has, there we go, straight away on the image. Now all we've got to do is experiment with the parameters here. This part is all up to your own personal taste really. I've seen artists go for almost like a deliberately bad threshold where you have no details whatsoever and it, it looks good in its own way. And then I've seen people go for a really crispy, sharp looking threshold like we're trying to achieve here and it equally looks good. It depends on the setting, it depends what you're designing. So just experiment and see what you can come up with. So once you're happy, click OK and now I will zoom in a bit and show you the difference that's made to the image. Then we can move on to technique number two. So we've managed to bring more detail into the entire image, but what if we only wanted to bring in more detail on part of the image? And that's where technique number two comes in. The setup for this is essentially the same with the threshold adjustment layer. The only change we need to make is to rasterize the image. And this will basically mean that we will be working destructively on the image and there will be no way to undo the changes we make once we've got further into the project. So what you're gonna to want to do first is to make a copy of your image before rasterizing it so you have a backup. And then we want to right click on the copy layer and click rasterize layer. The threshold adjustment layer stays the same like in technique number one but instead of using Smart Sharpen, we're gonna use the Burn and Dodge tools located on the left toolbar. So essentially, the Dodge tool will bring in more details and the Burn tool will take them away. So you can really use this to find a great balance with your image. And if I zoom in a bit, you can see how I'm able to use the Dodge tool to bring in some more hair details. And then if I select the Burn tool, I can then remove them. And then from here, just experiment and see what happens. Every image will react differently, but utilizing the techniques in this video and my previous video on thresholding, I'm finding that there's not a lot of images now that I can't threshold with some effort. So instead of just trying threshold quickly and seeing that it doesn't work immediately, put in some effort and give this a go, guys. 